Oh, honey, I was trying to calculate how uh, the perimeter of this uh, piece of paper here. In fact, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to be looking at perimeters. Question one, what is perimeter? Let's have a look at this. Perimeter is the total length of the outside of a shape or the continuous line forming the boundary of a closed geometric figure. Perimeter is calculated by adding together the lengths of each side of the shape. Perimeter is measured in millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. Okay. Now, when I look at this, geez, this is complicated, eh? Perimeter is the total length of the outside of a shape of the continuous line forming the boundary of a closed geometric figure. Whoa. So I put it in easy English. Perimeter is adding together the lengths of each side of a shape. So much easier to understand that. So if I've got a weird and wonderful shape, all I'm going to do is add up the lengths of the shape and that will give me my perimeter from a starting point all the way back to that starting point. Okay, please understand that perimeters measured in millimeters, centimeters or kilometers. Let's have a look here at this table. This is quite interesting. If I'm trying to find the uh, perimeter of a rectangle, perimeter of a rectangle is basically this. We are going to say, right, if I start at this point over here, I'm going to add this line, I'm going to add this line, add this line, and add this line. Okay, so it's L plus W plus L plus W. Now, because it's a rectangle, I know these two sides opposite each other are the same, and these sides opposite each other are also the same. Because of that, my formula can be 2 times the length plus 2 of the widths. Okay? Guys, I kind of like the idea of just saying, look, don't make things complicated. Just add it. Start at a particular point and say that plus that plus that plus that. My ending point's the same as my beginning point. Add those four sides, voila, I have the perimeter. I don't need to think about it. I don't need to stress about it. Just add up the sides. A square is going to be this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. All the sides are the same, so it's like saying one of the sides times four. Again, I would say just say side plus side plus side plus side. Triangle, quite simply, again, we're adding this side that side and that side. So all we're doing is adding the lengths of the triangle and we land up with our total perimeter. Now, perimeter of a circle means if we start at a particular point like that, we're going to add up that whole length of that line. Okay. Another name for perimeter of a circle is circumference. Now, folk, it is very difficult for us to measure how long that is because we kind of need a crooked ruler, okay? And, and that just makes no sense in anyone's logic to have a ruler that's crooked, okay? And then you're going to have to, no, too complicated. So we've come up with a formula, and the formula is quite simply pi times twice the radius or 2 times pi times the radius, okay? Cool. And then we can use that formula to find any circumference of any circle. Let's start putting all this into real examples. So my first example, determine the perimeter of each of the following and we give you the shape. Now folk, I always like to start at the same point whenever I have a shape and I always like to say let's start on the furthest top left hand side and in that way I know I'm going to start here every time and I'm going to have to add up all these sides and end there as well. So my perimeter is going to be this side over here which is 16 centimeters plus this side over here which I have no idea what it is plus this side over here okay which I have no idea what that is plus three centimeters plus 20 centimeters and finally plus six centimeters okay and all I have to do now is add up those sides and I've got my perimeter but oh my giddy aunt I have a problem and my problem is I don't know the lengths of this side or of that what I do know is this 
that were I to extend this line, this whole line here would be 6 centimeters. Can you see that? I know this part is 3. So this little part here is 3 centimeters. Now if this whole thing is 6, this part is 3, this part has to be 3 centimeters because 6 minus the 3 gives me 3 centimeters. And in the same way, this line over here, I don't know what the length is, but I know if I extended this line, this whole line here would be 20 centimeters. This part of the line is 16 centimeters. So if the whole thing's 20, and this part's 16, this part must be 4 centimeters. Now I have all the lengths. Now I can add up. When I say add, I say that tongue in cheek because I'm not going to add it up. My calculator is going to do that. So I've got 16 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 20 plus 6. And my final answer is going to be 52 centimeters. Straightforward, nothing difficult about that. A nice question for a paper one. My next thing is this. Here I have a circle and I've got to calculate the perimeter of the circle. Now, another word for perimeter is circumference. And the formula for circumference is 2 times pi times my radius. Now, 2 times, now pi, the question will say, let pi equal 3,142, okay? and times the radius. What is my radius? My radius is always half the diameter, which is going to be 7,5 centimeters, because 15 divided by 2 is 7,5. We take out our calculator, and we say we have 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by uh, 7.5, and we're going to lay it up then with an answer of 47,13. So 47,13 centimeters. Why centimeters? Because the unit they gave me was also centimeters. This is not hard. This is great paper one type questions. Okay, we get questions like this. Let's work at it. But I do want to say, always be careful you don't make silly mistakes. So if I get an answer, let me double check it again. Say 2 times 3, 1, 4, 2 times 7 equals, and let's see if we get the same answer. Right, my next question is this. Aha, this is a question I gave my matrix, and they all looked at it, and they said, oh, sir, that's so easy, eh? Like, you're insulting us here. So all I've got to do now is find the perimeter of that entire shape. And so what a lot of the guys did was they did this. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. And they said 2 times pi is 3,142 times the radius. Now, if my uh, diameter is 12,2, all we're going to do is say, sorry, 12,5, we're going to say 12,5, divide that by 2, and we get an answer of 6,25. So multiply by 6,25, equals and we got 6,25 multiply by 3.142 multiply that by 2 and we get an answer then of 39,275 39,275 and a lot of guys did this in their test sat back and said sharp done it and I looked at it and said sharp it's wrong okay why is it wrong why hey, it could, how could this possibly be wrong? Because the question is asking you to find the perimeter of the shape. And what have they done? They found the perimeter of a whole circle. Guys, I don't have a whole circle here. I've got half a circle. Can you see that? Only half. So I need to divide that answer by 2. So some of the guys said, oh, we're not stupid, eh? You're trying to catch us, divide by 2. So that's exactly what they did. So they had that answer and they divided it by 2 and now they land up with this answer. 19, 6375. 19, 6375. And they said, ah, oh, we're not silly. We know it's got to be centimeters. So they put in centimeters. And they said, cool. 
I'm clever. And I looked at it and said, cool, you're wrong. How can I be wrong? First of all, it's not a whole circle. I know that. Next, it's not half a circle. It's a half a circle. I got that. Now you're telling me it's wrong. Of course it's wrong. The question says find the perimeter of the whole shape. What have we found? We have found the perimeter just of this hot bit of the shape. What about this bit? Hello, hello, hello. So not only do we have to find this bit over here, but we've also now got to add that bit. And that bit is 12,5 centimeters. So I have to add 12,5 centimeters. So out comes the calculator again, and we say plus 12.5. And I'm now getting an answer of 32,13725. 32, 17325. Was it 1375? 1375 centimeters. The next thing is because they haven't told me how to round it, I'd have to round it to two decimal places. 32,14 centimeters. Yeah, that was a bit of a trick, eh? That was kind of ugly, eh? But it was what we have to do in a test. Let's have a look at the shape. This shape is very interesting here. Here, we have not quite a semicircle. We've got a semicircle, but it's attached to kind of a rectangle. For example, if I were to do this, doof, 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 then you could see I've got a rectangle and a semicircle. But Take note, please, I'm going to rub that out straight away because that doesn't come into it at all. All I'm trying to do is to find the perimeter of the outer surface. Okay, so firstly, let's start over here. I'm going to say here my perimeter, therefore, is equal to 12 centimeters plus this bit. And I don't know what that bit is yet, so I'm going to put a line plus here, which is 12 centimeters again, plus 12 centimeters, plus this bit, 18 centimeters. Okay, now let's find out what this little bit is here. So I'm going to say, all right, cool. I know that circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. My 2 is a 2, Pi, I'll be told, is 3,142, and my radius, well, I'm given the diameter of 18. Let's have a look at that. Even though this forms the side, okay, it's still the diameter of the circle. So times the diameter, which or radius, and radius is half of 18, which is 9. Now, guys, that is the formula for the circumference of a whole circle. We don't have a whole circle here, do we? We got half a circle. So let's times that by a half. Okay, so out comes this calculator again. Yes, my calculator's been working. Eh? This thing's starting to like smoke up here. It's like, eesh, oh, what are you doing to me? So 2 times 3.142 multiply by 9 multiply by 0 0.5 equals, and our answer is 28, 278. Okay, 28 comma 278 right let's just confirm that yeah, deal so we're going to put that in here 28 comma 278 now i'm going to add up all these bits and pieces so let's do that calculator we got 28 comma 278 already we're going to add 12 and then we're going to add another 12 and then we're going to add 18 and then we're going to push equals and voila, it's going to give us our answer 70, 70,278. 70,278 centimeters. And remember, we're going to have to round it. So my answer is going to be 70,028 centimeters. Next example. Now, let's take this, because at the moment, all we've been doing is looking at shapes. Eh? Let's put it in a real life context. Consider the shape below, which illustrates the dimensions of a pool within a fenced area. The pool is rectangular in shape with an added kiddie semicircular area. Okay, so what are they telling us? 
we have a fence and here's my fence can you see it and this fence goes all the way around my pooled area by law we have to have a fence around a pool then i have this wonderful swimming pool and this little semicircle area is very shallow it's for the little kiddies okay all the little children splash around splash around splash around then they fall into this part and they drown so you've got to keep them in the little circular part because that's nice and shallow the deep part is this rectangular part over here and that's where all the adults are going to swim now we understand the context let's have a look at the question determine the perimeter of the fence so guys the perimeter of the fence now is going to be this entire shape okay so let's have a look at it it's going to be 12 meters plus this little bit plus this little bit, plus nine, plus five. Okay, let's write that down. So we're going to say we had our swimming pool and I'm just gonna draw it here so it kind of looks um, like a little easier to understand. And this was 12 meters. Uh, we told that this part here is eight meters and then we had five meters. So we got five meters over here and sorry, we got nine meters over there so let's find the perimeter my perimeter I'm going to start at this point over here and we're going to move so I'm going to say it's 12 meters plus this little bit here which I don't know plus this bit here which I don't know plus 9 meters plus this bit here which is 5 meters now let's find the missing bits Guys, if I look here, that's five meters here. So this is also five meters. Now I need to find this part. And what is that? That is the circumference of a semicircle. So circumference is going to be two times pi times radius and times a half. Why times a half? Because I got half a circle. So I have two times 3 comma 1 4 2 times the radius now guys what is this radius well let's have a look here I have got a if I were to do this this whole side would be 12 would you agree because here that's 12 and so this is 12 but if this part's 9 then that part's got to be 3 so if that is 3, that means it's the diameter. Why? Because it's from the one side of the circle to the other. So if the diameter is 3, the radius must be 1 and a half. And then I'm multiplying it a half because I've only got half the circle. So let's do that. Out comes my calculator and I say 2 times 3.14 multiplied by 1.5 multiply that then by a half, 0.5 equals, and my answer there is 4,71. 4,71 meters equals. Now, I'm going to add them all up. 4,71 plus 12 meters plus 5 meters plus 9 meters plus 5 meters equals, and I land up now with an answer of 35 comma seven one meters and that is the perimeter of my pool now I know this question is asked us for the perimeter of the fence I've done the perimeter of the pool mainly because I'm running out of time and I wanted to do the more complicated one the perimeter of the fence was straightforward wasn't it I mean the fence was 18 meters here and here it was 15 meters so if I've got 18 I'd say 18 plus 15 plus 18 plus 15 very simple I wanted to do the more complicated one of the perimeter of the pool mainly because because I knew the next question would be about finding the perimeter of that pool. Okay, so perimeter of the fence, we just say 18 plus 15 plus 18 plus 15. Perimeter of the pool, we would do what we've actually done over here. All right, folk, we're going to take another break. Come back for our last session of today's episode. Chat soon.